Hi, this is Mark Spencer from Ripple Training with a very brief overview of what's new in Callouts 1.3. Callouts 1.3 adds two new callouts for a total of 14. Callouts are used in Final Cut Pro, and they're found in the Titles browser by clicking this T here, and then in the Ripple Callouts category. So we now have 14. The two new ones are Callout Square and Connect Direct. If you haven't used callouts in general, I'd recommend watching the overview video because I'm only going to focus here on what's new in these two new callouts. Let's first look at callout square. I'm going to go ahead with the playhead over this clip, hit the X key to set a range, select callout square, and hit the Q key to do a connect edit to the range. Callout square works very much like callout circle, except that you have a square here. Just like with callout circle, you can move the entire callout all the lines and the text by dragging on one on-screen control, or you can drag on these separate on-screen controls to do anything you want with how you align up the square and how you align the lines that come out from the square. One thing you can always do is enable a grid to help you line up the square if you want it to be a perfect square. It has all the normal formatting options that you're used to with the other callouts. In addition, you can adjust the roundedness of the square. And you can always go further by dragging in the value field. And that's pretty much it for callout square. The second new callout in Callouts 1.3 is called Connect Direct. And if we scroll down, you can see it right here. Now, if you've already used previous versions of Callouts, you probably are familiar with Connect the Dots, which allows you to do animated maps and things like that uh, with a curved line. You can also make this line straight, but it's a little bit challenging if you want to make this line straight for short segments. So rather than deal with that, I've created a separate callout called Connect Direct, which basically is the same as Connect the Dots, but allows you to make straight lines and only straight lines. So again, I'll hit the X key. I'll select this clip and hit Q. And there we have Connect Direct. Uh, no center point this time, just two lines that you can move anywhere you want. The text moves with them, but then you can move the text independently. And you have all the same controls that you do with connect the dots, except that you can't curve the line. Uh, you can turn off each of the endpoints. You can change the color thickness of the line. You can make it dats, dots or dashes. You can change the color thickness of the endpoints and uh, stack them on top of each other. Turn one of the points off and you can make connections from one to the next to the next very easily, uh, just all with straight lines. And then, you, of course, you can combine this with connect the dots to create both curved and straight lines. And that's pretty much it for the two new callouts in Callouts 1.3. There are several other bug fixes and some minor enhancements uh, that are included in the existing callouts, all based on customer feedback. So I hope you enjoy the callouts. Uh, if you have any feedback, requests for new features going forward, you can always email us at support at rippletraining.com. Thanks for watching.